This is Race Room Racing Experience. I'm Mooney GT, and today we're going to see what happens when you load up Daytona with 80 cars. We've got multi class racing with uh, P1, P2, GT3, and GT4 cars. I've done just a little bit of practice, and things were mostly running okay, but the AI, I think, is a little overwhelmed. It's a new track, and I'm sure Race Room is going to be uh, improving this over time. We're going to do a 20 minute race and see what happens. We're at the, the Corvette prototype. Well, it's finally here. This is Daytona in race room. And you can see up there, I'm in seventh out of 80. Or I guess it's a 12 minute race, an even shorter race, just to see what happens. Oh, why are we just instant? Oh, I guess it's the, uh, maybe it's just the starting up from a stop on the banking. I bet you is what happened. Oh, the AI is aggressive. It's chaos <laughs> into turn one. All right, well now we've separated a bit. I'm sure that's going to really mess up the field behind us. But what I'm most surprised about uh, in doing this is that it even works. Uh, I saw today that there were 79 garage spots at Daytona. And the first thought I had was, there's no way, oh, some stuttering. Was that, oh, that there's no way that my computer could handle 80 cars on track. Because the race room is pretty uh, resource intensive, let's say. But it actually seems to run okay. It did take, I'd say, two to three times longer than normal to load. But it actually did load, and in testing in the practice session, it seemed to run okay. I didn't have this kind of uh, mayhem in the practice session with all the crashing, but I'm sure that's because all 80 cars were right on top of each other to start the race. So... <laughs> so that was a hero move? My goodness! Well done, brave sir. We're gonna take that spot back, though. So thanks. But uh, I'm I'm sure we're gonna have some interesting moments like that, even though this is just a 12-minute race. Oh, but that's that's good stuff. Probably need to uh, work on setups for Daytona. Probably take some wing out of it, add some gear to it, that kind of thing. But this is really oh, slow down car. Oh. So this is really more just a stress test to see what's possible. I'm having a hard time uh, slowing the car, oh gosh, slowing the car down off the banking, which makes sense. So we are going ridiculously fast, but I haven't quite figured out that break point for turn one yet. See how long it takes to start coming through the field. I also don't know my break point for this turn. So lots of uh, self-optimizations to do for this, but we'll get there. Oh, I'm getting hit from behind. This car is dreadful as far as visibility goes. I've got no rear view mirror, side view mirrors. I can't really see the left one unless I kind of punch down like that. <laughs> I can see the right mirror. I'm gonna have to really try to pay attention to that radar. So far, it seems like you want to brake just before the green light through the bus stop. That was not pretty. Oh, we're actually in third in class, ninth or eighth overall, ninth overall. That's right, because I'm in P2. And we do have P1s. So the game seems to be running pretty smooth for me right now. The start was a little hectic. God, you really just have to smash those brakes and hang on. It doesn't feel like it's going to stop. We're going to sneak in. No, we're not. Where's that precision ramming that I was talking about in my AMS2 video? You have to be really confident on the brakes to do a precision ram. 
Hey, that was for position too. Yep, that was early for me. Oh, we're gonna do the... Oh, I thought we could cut back on him. We couldn't. All right, so we got a little bit of a podium battle going on here. Let's see if we can get a draft on the banking here. Maybe make a move into the bus stop, which is usually a way to shed some tears. I have actually stayed up and watched the 24 hours of Daytona on multiple years. That always makes for a very rough Monday. Oh, I let up on my brake because I thought he was carrying more speed. I do love this event and I do really love multi-class racing. I'm really excited that they've added Daytona and look forward to running Maybe some mini Enduros here. Maybe get up to like a two or three hour event. Oh, we got some room. Gotta run. Wow, look at that. Okay, it's a, it's a really horrible inside line that I took. We're halfway through this race. So far, we had some pretty bad, oh, wow, okay. The initial bite on these brakes in this car it just feels really weak to me. I wonder if we need to go into the garage and mess with the, the brake force, but... Uh, that's the problem for another day. Right now it's, it looks like we finally caught up to the GT4 cars. Let's see if we can get through here without getting slowed up too much. That's what I love about multi-class racing. It's just that there's, you know, it keeps you busy. You really get to practice going offline and recovering from that and experimenting with lines. It gives you some more decisions to, to work on that you don't typically have in single class racing. Oh, I zoned out. <laughs> I was watching the traffic and forgot to look for my brake marker. I'm usually good for at least one of those in an event. Take a toe off that beamer. So we fell back to third because yeah, he took that hero lunge. Oh, Mr. Lotus, you're holding me up. Beautiful car, though. Love the Lotus. Okay, you really just... I don't have much confidence in these brakes. They're definitely not uh, in danger of locking up or anything. Oh. So the oh, that was close. Short nose, thank goodness for that. Really good traction in this prototype car though. I've loosened the traction control up and I still don't feel like the wheels are even thinking about spinning. Yeah, you can really just hammer on the throttle. That was also close. Just four minutes to go. Really want to see if we can get up to the second step of that podium. I assume that's first up there it is. Yeah, so we're we're hanging on to the field here, to the leaders. Watch for the break point this time. Oh! There was a incident with a wreck, I guess, and that screwed up the flow. Well, that gives us a shot here. Oh! oh. <laughs> the precision ram is in full effect. Oh, that's good stuff. I think what happened there was I forgot that I'm kind of, I'm not used to driving on the right side of the car. So I didn't really uh, realize where I was. Oh, oh, another incident. The AI, that's what something I have noticed. The AI freaks out when there's a car that's like offline or slow and it starts doing really weird stuff. So yeah, 
There's definitely a lot of work that needs to go into fixing uh, the AI around here. But, I mean, they're going to be able to do some really awesome online racing events on this track with these multi-classes and this many drivers. I don't know how many uh, drivers can be supported uh, online in multiplayer. I don't know if that'll scale up to the full 79 or 80 drivers or if that's just too much. But I'm sure we'll find out before too long. But I was really excited to test this out and see what happens. Got a pretty good draft here. Oh, that's the first green light. Break by the second green light. So situations like this are going to be interesting. What do you do? Oh, and there's... Oh! Yeah, I'm not used to being on the right side of the car. That's what that was again. All right. We got maybe one more lap here to try to get ahead. Are we getting a draft? I don't know if we're actually getting a toe on him. I think we're too far away. I feel like we should be too far away. Oh, there it is. Oh, there's a big stack up. Which, uh, thank you. Well, now we have inherited the lead in our class. I don't know if this is probably the lead pack for the P1 class. We are in sixth overall. So we, that might be the lead pack. They really do pull away though. So I imagine there's going to be one more lap. So we got to just got to hang on to first place here. I don't think we can hang on to the draft. Those P1 cars are pretty quick through the banking. So just stay alert for the bus stop. It was a little bit early braking, but I didn't know what was going to happen with the AI. Grab a little draft off of this Corvette. I wish there was kind of a sound effect to go along with the draft. If you could hear the wind get quieter or something to kind of let you know that you've got the tow. I don't really feel like I'm hearing that. Oh, no, that was it. That was it. All right. Well, there you go. That's Daytona. I'm so glad it's here. It's really fun to drive. And surprisingly, it actually runs with 80 cars on track, except for the AI, which was a little problematic, but I'm pretty sure they'll do some updates and kind of get that ironed out a bit. But uh, anyways, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time.